Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today's a, a pretty good day because curfew has been done over with for a week or so. And uh, I can go out for sunrises and sunset. And as you can guys, as you, as you guys can tell, it's the middle of the day, so I'm going for a sunset. Hopefully, the conditions, it's pretty, you know, this, the clouds are pretty scattered. They're supposed, to, they're supposed to be high clouds, but they're pretty scattered. We'll see if it materializes into something. But for now, I'm pretty, you know, I'm just pretty happy to be outside. You know, this is one of my favorite national parks. It's uh, the Sagney Fjord National Park. I've never been to this trail, this section of the fjord. It's a long fjord, it's like 110 kilometers long. So there's a lot to explore and I haven't been here yet. So yeah, uh, can't wait to explore it. There's lots of people here because it's the only trail open in this section. So hopefully I'm not too uh, camera shy, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what I can see and uh, we'll see what the landscape looks like. So. Uh, Let's get moving. for today because uh, you know this is I've never been here before and usually when I've never been to some place um, that's when I take the best shots just because I don't have a plan I'm just doing what feels good and and yeah so hopefully uh, today's one of those days because you know after the curfew and all that I just can't wait to see some landscape with some uh, nice colors in the skies and some nice light, so I'm really, really hoping that the cloud situation gets better than what it is right now. Even if I don't get anything, I'm just exploring a new place. It's, it's the best. I'm just, I'm just loving, I'm just loving the day, really. There's a little trail here that goes down to the beach. Finally, get to see, get to see the view. So here we go. Let's go. Down this little path here. Oh yeah, it's, it's nice. Ah. Oh yeah, it's nice. So if there's nothing, uh, you know, interesting at the end of the trail, I might have to come back here for like a little backup plan, you know? I got these nice little hills and mountains there i got some nice grass some rocks nice foreground so um you know this is backup plan plus the tide um is getting lower not that it's high but it's getting lower it's, it's around five o'clock right now and it's low tide around six which is good because uh i get to, there's more foreground for me to play with but yeah this will be backup plan if everything fails over there so yeah but let's keep going Right off the trail, the trail's like right there. I just came off the, the trail and uh, found this little scene kind of interesting. Uh, basically what it is, it's just some white flowers with some 
yellow flowers whoops right there and I'm just using the trunk to contrast with the green so for my settings well I'm shooting an f8 just to get a bit of blurriness behind this tree so main focus is on the tree and the the flowers in front of the foreground and then I just added added a polarizer just to make the greens more vibrant and it works really well um, but for the composition you know it's pretty simple I'm just putting the trunk on the right rule of, rule of thirds and um, yeah it's pretty simple but you know it's just just to get myself warmed up you know for sunset hopefully there's a sunset but I'm just you know warming up having some fun and that's what it's all about right so I'll show you guys the image and uh, hopefully it's kind of good I'm guessing I'm uh, nearing the end of the trail. I'm almost there on this wood path, and it point there was a sign pointing to the viewpoint, so I'm guessing I'm really close. But as I'm walking, uh, you know, I, I can see the beach down here, and it it goes. There's, I think I'm just gonna go back down after I see this and just scout this whole beach because it's it's huge beach and there's ripples on the sand there's rocks there's green vegetation there's yeah I think down on the beach is where I'm gonna have the best action I don't even have to go back there's stairs that go all the way down here to the beach even easier so yeah I guess I'll just chill up here for a bit and then I go down the stairs start scouting for maybe go look at that tree again I don't know we'll see I'm just excited I'm here now and it's time to take some uh, landscape images oh, look at this look at that down there there's rocks loaded with green moss or something I don't know but it looks pretty promising the cloud situation really improved too there's a good layer of clouds and they're nice nice and texturized so so I mean I'm still two three two hours away maybe from sunset so not gonna get my hopes up that high up right now but it's a really it's, it's a really nice spot what's really cool too I don't know if you guys can see but this right here that's the biggest island of the fjord it's called the uh, gross ill which means big island because it's the biggest one on the fjord. Anyways, super excited to be here right now and uh, I'm gonna, I got like two, three hours just to take this all in and I don't know, just try to find an image. So I'll do a little montage or B-roll or whatever. And then uh, once I'm ready, I'm gonna start scouting for an image. There's a rock that I really like with some seaweed. And uh, the, the, the sand's nice and texturized too. There's nice sweeping in the sand from the, the waves and the, the tide. So I'm just gonna have to like slowly creep in with my camera and try to find, try to compose it. There's also this big rock in the water that I don't think I'm, I like it that much. I might 
I might uh, crop it out, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see if this uh, composition works at all. So it's kind of difficult. I'm trying to include, include all the rocks, but I can't. These rocks here, they're just, there's too many little rocks around and it's just trying to determine which rocks are more prominent for the picture because some of them you just can't cut and then some of them, it, it, it doesn't matter. So I finally set up and I think I got my composition, but it was uh, pretty difficult because um, the biggest problem is I don't own a wide, super wide angle lens. So I'm stuck at 28 mil and it makes, it just makes it hard sometimes trying to work close with uh, some foreground. So anyways, this foreground is uh, I'm hoping it'll translate good in an image. We got this little water streak, kind of like leading lines with rocks in them. And it leads to this bigger rock with like water, like there's a puddle of water around and it has seaweeds. And, uh, and then the, I'm not sure if this is gonna work because there's a big gap between the rock and the island. So there's like the rock and there's sand and there's the water, then there's the island. And, I'm as low as I can get, so I'm trying to eliminate as much as the middle ground as possible. But other than that, I still think it will work other than the mid ground that might be just too much, uh, too much mid ground. So like I was saying guys, I got this little water stream coming up here. And then I was trying to compose all these rocks, try not cut one of them in half. And then, so it's leading up to the bigger rock with the seaweed and then the problem I'm having is this middle ground but now that I'm looking at it again I'll think it'll, I think it's going to be okay I'm also I'm going to have to do a focus stack because I'm really really close to the foreground so I'm probably going to have to take like at least four to six shots just for the foreground until I get to the water and then the water I don't have to worry about it because it'll probably just be blurred so it's going to be a complicated edit, but you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully it turns out good. So I'm going to show the image right now, guys, and you guys can tell me what you think. So it took me forever to get these shots for focus stack because I screwed up all the time. So I took my time to focus stack them all, make sure I had the shot. Now I want to get this, the telephoto shot of these layers here. There's a whole bunch of different layers and they're only there, we can only see them because the sun's still up. So I'm going to switch my telephoto to my telephoto lens, try to get this shot of these layers, hopefully before the sun dips below. So I'm going to try to get that done real quick.
right, so I'm just gonna put my polarizer on right now. Gotta be quick, because the sun's dipping. It kind of looks cool. I mean, I'm not, you know, it's okay. All right, so there's not much to it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna pop this image on the screen and tell me what you think. It's simple, it's not complicated. Give me some feedback. You guys can see the sky here but we got some red back here and then it it goes to yellow all the way over here so i'm trying to hurry up i can't really show you guys what i'm doing but i can show you my foreground real quick here got a little puddle rock with some seaweed exactly what i wanted right but i know it's nice it's got the yellow and the orange it's all fading i mean look at the sky guys just look at that just beautiful no, this is a pretty good start for the first sunset after curfew. This is amazing. The foreground and everything, I'm really loving this shot. I'm gonna keep shooting before the color goes away and if I find another composition, I'll show you guys. So I'm, just, I'm trying to squeeze out as much as I can of this light. So I'm just, basically it's the same foreground. I just, I was over there and now I came over here because the color's more this way. So, you know, it's, I actually like this one better because I think the last shot I took, the foreground wasn't wasn't uh, I don't know it wasn't placed like I wanted to. It was, I was a bit too much. I was I was too rush. So now I took a bit more time with this one. Colors are dying down a bit, but it looks it still looks nice. Holy. So yeah, I thought the light was gonna be over. It wasn't stuck with the same foreground. I just feel too rushed to try to find something else. So I'm just, I'm just honestly, I'm just turning around this rock. It's ridiculous. I still, I think, I think I'm gonna do some astro on the other side here. The same rock. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, this is great. I got this reflection on the puddle of the pink sky, and then again, that green rock that I just adore. So apparently I wasn't done guys. Um, this is this is just a bonus, honestly. Like I was happy with all my other shots. This is just gravy, you know. It looks nice. I just wish the clouds were the pink clouds were a bit lower, but they appear in the reflection, so that's good. So I'm just taking a couple shots for the for the shadows, because the shadows are really dark. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna blend the two when, once again in Photoshop. But well, it's just a simple, you know, typical uh, sand ripples with a nice puddle of water, reflection of the sky. I don't have the I don't have the mountain in the reflection. It was a compromise. It's either I was getting the clouds or the mountain. So I wanted color. So that's what I opted for. Okay, so I think I'm officially done now. There's no way that there's gonna be more light, more colors. I was just surprised because it just started where the sun was setting 
then it was back there, then it was back where the sun, it was just, it just wouldn't stop, like honestly, it was, it was crazy, but it was, it was awesome, honestly, it was just, this is why I was excited. So uh, this is the end of the video, guys, so tell me which one, which image you like best. I think I took, like I said, like, I, I think I took like five images. This might be a long video, honestly, for my second vlog. I was, I was just on a roll today, I guess. I don't know, curfew and finally being outside for a sunset. Like, this is just, this is just awesome. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed. Like, this is awesome. Wow. But yeah, tell me what you guys liked about the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and... Give me some feedback and, you know, I'll be ha happy to answer back to you guys and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless.